you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. So we do have you on the schedule today for a consultation. Is this still a good time for you? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what we're doing today is it's more informational, you know, just to give you some information. Um, and then I am going to ask you some more questions and everything. And then if you have any questions, we'll go over those as well, okay? Okay. So just out of curiosity, how did you hear about Dr. Short? Uh, from Instagram. Oh, okay. So you're familiar with his videos and everything. Yeah. And you've already been diagnosed by a, a doctor in Israel? Yes. Um, and how long ago was that? Uh, probably two and a half years ago. But I've had this all my life, even when right. I was a kid. And at the same time, I got diagnosed with uh, Ehlers-Denlos. So here's the price. I'm going to have to have four surgeries, and that's the price. So that's pretty much a lot. So yeah, 13 9 times 3 plus one of them is not 13 9, it's 22,000. So that's how much it costs to fix. Hold on. <laughs> oh, my picture! Were you being rude to mommy? <laughs> Good morning, Abigail. Here's my picture of my hand. These are mazes on my hand. See, I have a maze on my hand. Yeah. You have mazes? To me, at first, it looked like eyes or spirals. And these are fingernails. Uh-huh. This is my cut I got. Where is it on your real hand? On one of these fingers, right here. Oh, you have hangnail, is what it's called, that. What's a hangnail? It's when you have a little piece of skin next to your fingernail that's sticking out and it hurts. Well, it can't hurt at last. Your English is uh, getting much better, Abigail. Thanks, Daddy. All the rain. Best by. <laughs> all the llamas. Best by. Say llama. Llamas, best by. Yeah, you know, llama in Hebrew means why. It's a question that you ask me a lot. Basically, everything that I tell you is a why, Daddy, or why, Mommy, right? You always <laughs> want to know why things happen a certain way. <laughs> you keep losing your paper. <laughs> Bye. Bye. There's a gray spider in the pile, and if you look close enough, you might see a mosquito or something in here. Good morning to you, too, Raphael. Hey, you see it? I also saw a woodpecker. It flew away. How are you doing this fine morning? Not very good. There is a gray spider in our pile. Oh no, it's back. It's back. Yeah, get it away from me. Get away from me. Get away yeah. from me. Do you think it's a spider? Me. No, it is not a spider. Okay. It can fly. So what are you up to? I'm up to picking the leaves on the trash can and the thing up. You did a good job so far you handling your chores. I swept a gray spider into the pile so it would not bite me. Mm -hmm. But now I'm scared to pick it up. Yeah, when Raphael has no schoolwork to do in the same day, he helps out with certain chores, like taking the trash out, and I usually help him. And we, he just recently learned how to tie the trash bags, like the one behind him. And he's learning how to tie his shoes next. And we're just... Yeah. Can you help me by getting that spider out? And yeah. Spider out, out of here by... We're having Raphael get um, allowance for that as well. So Hello, he learns Raphael. how to handle... Oh, water. Oh, different things. Oh, yeah, there's water here. Ooh, I'm getting distracted. This is actually the one spot in the trampoline that holds water. So when I press on it, it drains out. There's just the one spot where all the water drains to. And it's that way in every water system, oh, Raphael. Can you get this bug out and every bug out of here? Because I'm scared of every bug. Is that why you stopped? Yes. All right, let's finish this up. I stopped for like 20 minutes. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's a lot of water. Sheesh. Oh, oh, oh. That's the second spot. Are you okay, Dad? Yeah, that kind of looked like a snake. <laughs> it just, wow, that was pretty scary. It looked like a snake. I wasn't looking, and then it just touched me. Slithering. Is that a little water? Snake! Ah, right there. Look, 
No, no, we don't do that. That's yeah, actually scary. Get out of my way. Ah. Get this out of All right, kids. So that was my first consultation with the plastic surgery. Um, it's much cheaper somewhere else, but he does the the what, strategy, the thing that I like. He does manual removal of the lipedema, so that would be optimal. Uh, but it costs about five or six thousand dollars more than what other people are charging for the same thing, just without the manual. So, Abigail can't open the door. Anyway, I have one more consultation that I will let you know about, and I really do think I have a good feeling about this guy, so I really do think I will probably end up going with him. I am definitely getting this done if I have to, like, I don't know, live in a tent and eat marshmallows for the rest of my life, I will, but um, definitely I'm getting this done because I'm in two years I don't see myself having any kind of life. I would just be a person in pain constantly and that's it. That's like my worst fear <laughs> um, and I'm trying to prevent that and that this would prevent that from happening so I don't see myself not doing this. It's a progressive disorder which means it's going to get worse than it is now and I cannot even imagine it getting worse than it is now. So I don't want that to happen. Um, it doesn't cure it but it sure does treat it. It's like the only cure for lipedema is to get liposuction or to have it completely removed surgically. So uh, that's what I will do. I've worked hard. I've lost a lot of weight. Uh, right now I'm starting to gain it because basically all I do is sleep. Um, I sleep 18 to 20 hours a day. When you see me, you're seeing my peak, my peak. Like this is me, peak. You know what I mean? So it's it's not it's not a life right now. So anyway, Abigail learns how to put her seatbelt on finally at four years old. <laughs> okay, Raphael. And look, no, look yeah. at the beauty. Oh, yeah, that Mel. background looks good too. <laughs> Mel, do you remember this? We got it when Raphael was ten months old. Yeah. Oh, we got a delivery. All of our toilet paper is sitting right outside, and somebody walked by. <laughs> All of our toilet paper is outside. Hey! I love a man who deals in toilet paper, don't you? <laughs> anyway, we got, um, we got a bunch of cat litter, and toilet paper delivered because it's way big, and it's way heavy in the, um, cart, so I decided to just deliver it. It's free delivery, which is great and awesome for us. <laughs> um, but I can store three big things at a time, and that's what I do. The last, the last time we ordered toilet paper was months and months ago. I'm like thinking a year ago, and I'm still not completely out. Uh, anyway, well, I'm gonna go to Goodwill with the kids, and Hadar's gonna go ride his bike because he feels like he needs to lose weight after his birthday of eating a whole thing of sushi and uh, cake. Hello, winter in Florida is 80 degrees and very hot outside. It's and impressive. good luck. We talk about it every single day. Yeah, we do. And it's like it's rainy and cloudy, and we can't go out. And, and humid. And, and then it's sunny. The day and after. then it's Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Bloody Sunday. More like humid Sunday in Florida, but nice weather. And I'm gonna spend it all day inside. <laughs> and he's gonna go ride a bike. One day I'll be able to ride a bike again. Yeah, One day. get back in shape. Yeah, sure. Sure. I, I don't have a bike. Uh, every bike that I get either breaks or it's not like a right fit for me because I'm five foot tall, so. I have trouble fitting onto a bike, and it has to be not a recumbent bike, it has to be straight up and down, so I just got, I've never had like a bike that was like well, the good for me. Bike I saw with grandma. Oh yeah? What's a snowflake bike? A snowflake bike. I'm not gonna get a snowflake bike. No. Mommy's not a slow bike. I'm really not. Okay, we're gonna go to our favorite place, huh? Yeah. Goodwill. Yeah. You got your mask on, goody. All right, let's go. 
Okay, Abigail has a toy like this doll, so they get to pick something out to carry around the store with them. Raphael picked this out, it's a huge gun. Yeah, we're gonna be here an hour and a half. I'm gonna shoot it, I wanna know right now. Uh, you push this back, yeah, push it back, now click. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It was closed and, dad, and we're waiting for daddy. Where's he's, daddy at? He's gonna arrive here soon and he's at the I bike see car. park. Is that dad? Nope. Oh no, that's not the wall. I'll tell you when he's here. <laughs> so we're home now and I think it's going to take me about an hour to just to clean my kitchen from the birthday that we had yesterday. It's all right there. And we did use Hadar's massager. I'll probably massage him tonight while he's at the computer because he has to work still. He went for a nice bike ride, an hour and a half long, a little over that. And we shopped the entire time until Goodwill closed. We stayed until Goodwill closed. They kicked us out, actually. Oh, oh, the dishes attacked me. So I made him a sub. Can I have so, a You're not getting a sub. You are getting hash browns. What are they called? Tater tots. What are tater tots? The little potato puffs. Yes. Potato puffs. Mm -hmm. You're getting... Fish sticks and tater tots. It's a quick food kind of night. Sandwiches, tater tots, Janet. And that's going to take me an hour to clean that, but bunk, I am bunk, not bunk, going bunk, to bunk, do it. Bunk, 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 bunk. <laughs> Raphael's reading. What are you reading, Raphael? Comic book, Minecraft. Yep. Bunk, 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 bunk. Uh, on the way home this evening, like I got my test results back. I knew they were not going to be good. I'm just to put it plainly, I'm ticked off. Um, my blood results have not changed for the past five years. They've not. And this is like tomorrow I have an appointment. This is the end. Like I'm going to freaking lose my F's if they do not do something for me. So with that being said, I also have a hematologist uh, appointment on like the beginning of next week so that's good um, I'll finally my family has a rare genetic blood disorder that we just found out um, which it sucks but it, it also does kind of tell me why I have some of the issues that I have and maybe after I get some treatment I won't be so fatigued that like life is worth living again so we'll see um we're gonna eat some dinner we're gonna clean some houses hopefully i didn't show hadar walk by in his towel he just showered from his long bike ride and uh yeah raphael's chilling out that must be a really good book you haven't looked up once i have <laughs> Is that a really good tail? Hey, you want to get your hair did? Hi. Hi, hi. Hi. Oh, she comfortable. Shalom. Shalom. Hola. Hey, we don't sushi, not big sushi, because that's big sushi. I don't want breezes. I want to eat it just the size it is. Delightful. Yes. Look, he's 31!